This is one of the world's most dangerous trails. Welcome to Caminito del Rey. Known as the walkway of death. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Oh my gosh. Oh. You can rock climb, trek. No, can you stop moving it? And explore these gorges. Look at that. Valleys, trails, bridges, and mountains. This is breathtaking. If you just joined us from Gibraltar, we're now driving two hours to Caminito del Rey in Spain for this rare once in a lifetime experience. So we get these helmets. Let's hit it, babe. Just 1,100 tickets are sold a day. They sell weeks, if not months in advance. Tickets for the 100 year old path were exhausted, but we got lucky. I just happened to go on Facebook Marketplace and buy a ticket from a tour guide, so I was super lucky. It was a bit sketchy, John and I weren't sure if we were going to get ripped off. Sometimes you just have to take chances in life. Is this the way they went? And taking this risk paid off. We start this amazing tour. Uh -huh. Our English speaking guide was incredible. He explained how this world famous path was built in 1905 above a hydroelectric plant. So little by little, a fence is fall down, the wallway come down because of the touchment. Nobody were here to repair it. The old path is the new one, okay? Yeah. So you are going to see this part once again. With a drop of 100 metres beneath us, sections of the old walkway clinging onto the side of the rock face began to appear. My God. It's amazing they made it out of concrete. Wow, so that's uh, the old path. Oh my gosh. Underneath. It's underneath. Yeah. If you're afraid of heights, this is probably not the place to do. <laughs> Look away if you can't cope. We're getting pretty high now. Are you feeling a little bit shaky? Um, I have vertigo big time. This is a 360 degree view of where we are right now. Oh my God. Whoa. Just when you think it can't get any scarier. At the highest point of the trail, there's a glass bottomed viewing platform. Yeah. Can I phone ready? Thank you. So just why is this trail so dangerous? And why is it dubbed the scariest path in the world? More than 10 people has died. This accident, it was here in the news, in the newspaper, they say, in El Chorro, three young guys have died in the sea They say, oh, it's a very risky place. We have to go there. And more people have, uh -huh. have come here after the accident. I couldn't even begin to imagine rock climbing. That would be like my worst nightmare. The Russia government said it's forbidden and more people have come. The government closed the walkway for safety reasons 20 years ago, but that didn't stop trespassers. Despite huge 6,000 euro fines, people still risked their lives and four more thrill seekers died. But in 2015, this new three kilometre walkway was built and Caminito del Rey reopened. You're supposed to keep a one and a half metre distance from the person in front of you and no one is. <laughs> Except for John. <laughs> There are now plenty of rules to ensure your safety. You can't smoke, you can't have an umbrella, you have to wear clothes and shoes, and you can't take clothes off during the tour. And for good reason. Someone's white hat. Where? Right down the bottom. Oh yeah. This is the suspension bridge, 100 meters above the El Choro Gorge. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Oh. No, you gotta look down, you gotta look down. Whoa. Take a moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Breathe. It's such a long way down. After four hours, you are done. We just walked the King's Path. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the trail is linear, not circular. So at the end, you'll have to catch a bus back to the starting point where we found dinner. What a spot, beautiful. With our full bellies, we're about to head to our hotel. So we'll show you where we're going to park up for the night. It's around 15 minutes away from the entrance. I'd recommend staying in El Choro for the night. This is the hotel we chose. Then I have one more lookout to show you. Oh, this. <laughs> so wacky. It's so wacky. It's wacky, but it's cool. It's an old flour mill. <laughs> a very old flour mill. Oh, nice breeze, eh? Hey? 
see that peak up there? That's where we're off to next. My speedy Gonzalez. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. So John just drove the car up to the top of this lookout. It only took about 15 minutes from the hotel. Just like a sheer cliff right beneath our face. It's a bit sketchy. But a perfect place to spot vultures. Look at that. Oh, right up there. Oh, look at them all. Can you see them? They are so much closer than they appear. I've created a Google map for you guys, pinpointing all these locations for easy reference. The details are in the description below. We hope to see you next time. So hit that like button and subscribe button, and we'll see you on our next adventure. And here is some more information if you're thinking of doing the hike. One, the route is downhill. Two, just 50 tickets a day are sold at the entrance. Three, you need to arrive at least half an hour earlier than the time on your ticket. Four, you may pass through by accident on public transport. If you are getting a train from Seville to Malaga, it cuts straight through this valley. That is actually where you'll travel through. That's the train line goes over that bridge. Thank you so much for joining us on this jaw-dropping, breathtaking, impressive spot. Good luck and let me know if you survived in the comments below. Bye, Caminito del Rey. We're off to Malaga.